So let me quickly show you guys how to do these panels. Um, and that's quite easy to do. Okay, so you open up your main menu, you go to settings, and this is where it gets maybe confusing because they have a ton of settings to do, like every menu has got a whole bunch of stuff to do. And if you, if you in any case, if you're bored, go through these options because you'll be amazed at the functionality that these guys have put into um, this little app. Um, if you look at maps online, offline, all this, you'll see every every one that I that I click on has got a whole ton of stuff that you can edit. So to get back to how to edit your your layout, you go to controlling the top menu and you've got panels and buttons there. Okay, so you've got the top one, which is set functions, which is obviously um, um, the one we're looking for. But I'm just quickly gonna gonna take you through them. You can also hide your top, or bottom, and right panels. Um, sometimes I, I, I turn them on and off, but because I've got a screen with a nice big screen, um, I actually keep, I always keep the buttons on because I constantly, um, I constantly use a, a, yeah, I constantly work on the screen if I navigate. Okay, so let's look at the set, the panel functions, and there you go. There you've got your top panel where you can choose what to add on. You've got four options there, and you can add on stuff. And on the right-hand side, so just to give you an indication, just so that you can see GPS, dashboard, editor, dashboard, and settings. If I go back, just have a look here. Those are the ones at the top, GPS, editor, dashboard, and settings. Um, you'll see, instead of going to there and down to settings, I've even set my settings on the top bar. So it's easy for me to get there. So it's quite easy to now edit tracks, routes, interface, everything, um, which is quite great. Okay, let's go back, panels, set the panels, um, and I can either edit or I can add on a function um, or a separate link. So let's say I want to add on on the right-hand side, I want to add on an extra panel, and there's all the functions, there are all the functions um, I can obviously add on. So let's, uh, I, it'll show you which ones are on, um, let's, uh, I've got all the ones I need. <laughs> let's see if there's something else that I can put on. Um, yeah, let's just choose quick settings. I'm not really gonna, gonna use that. <laughs> okay, so I can also edit the ones that are on and you'll see the little icon will show you where it's at. Um, mm -hmm. I can change my layout, let's go back. And there we go, there's my quick settings button. So what you'll also see is what I found is that having, because it's a typical screen, and I ride, I ride with my screen, just for interest sake, I ride with my screen in portrait mode, not landscape. I see a lot of guys, and especially your Garmin devices are all landscape. And I don't know what you guys prefer, this is obviously a preference, but because I'm moving forward, I actually want to see further ahead on my route than I want to see sideways. So it's never really made sense to me on why people navigate with the devices in landscape mode. Um, it's interesting if you guys do navigate with phones and GPSs, let me know if you if you prefer landscape or portrait mode. But this portrait mode is, is the way that I'm going. Because once I navigate, I want to look forward uh, ahead of me. Now, the reason also why I mentioned that is um, that because our screens are long and in portrait mode, you obviously have quite a lot of extra space at the top and the bottom. And because it's narrow, um, there's not a lot of space. So I tend to not do buttons on the side. You'll see even my right hand panel, I only take it up to about two or three um, little settings there. But let me quickly take that one off. Uh, there we go. And I want to remove that one. There we go. Okay, and you'll see it's quite easy to modify the interface with this, just those panels. So I don't know if you guys agree, but I, I, I like to keep this middle section um, open. The other reason why I keep it open is um, I see just from my question earlier, um, Pierre Simon, you guys all do portrait. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that. I think we probably share the same, <laughs> the same thinking behind it. The other thing I wanna show you guys is apart from the panels, is that Locus has what they call themes. And a theme, um, it's an interesting term they use for it, but the themes um, add on 
different big portions of text. In other words, monitors like, like counters. And I want to show you, so I've already got one set up. And because I'm so fascinated with rally riding, um, the distance and the course, the, the cap and the trip um, headings are actually quite important to me. So on this theme, I've basically set up these as nice big white or black on white text that will show me my course headings. I want to see if I turn my phone. Um, it's I'm unfortunately sitting in a building, so we don't really have any GPS here. Um, but I think you can see, so I can turn my, my while I'm riding, I can turn on all kinds of counters. And this is quite cool because you can also modify this. So the, this is not a panel. This is a theme. Just remember the difference. So panels are top, left, right, and bottom. Themes um, and these little blocks. And you'll see I've got the theme editor again. The, this is a feature. All the stuff I've got shortcuts you can find here in the normal settings. Where is it now? Uh, oh, there's your dashboard. So the dashboard creates your theme. And this is the edit. I've just done them as shortcuts. So theme editor. And you'll see it comes a couple of things. Um, and the, the I've got Eugene dashboard theme. And there we go. You can see I can select different themes. I can add on items. I can insert rows. So I can build this layout any way I want. And then that can become available if I turn it on and off. OK. I'm quickly going to jump back in my in my screen share for you guys. There we go. OK, and I'm just turning my camera off. There we go. I'll do that. So <clears throat> editing the screen is actually um, really straightforward. And uh, again, just uh, just to tell you guys, I've got the two editing tools, the settings and the the dashboard editor as one of as my buttons, because I actually tend to edit the, um, the dashboard quite a lot. And I visit my settings quite a bit. And I've got the other one I've got is my getting access to my tracks and my routes very quickly and my points. And then obviously my recording button, which is um, to record. So you'll see those are literally the main functions and features that I that I do.